it is a pleasure to uh, have uh, Eduardo now here. Hello. We, uh, we will switch to a kind of very different topic, I would say. Uh, uh, Monty Python would have said now for something completely different because we are now talking uh, about soccer, right? Football. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So, uh, hopefully, you, 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 you can see my screen. Yeah, yes, thank you. Screen, and the floor is yours. Okay. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, this project that has been around for me for quite a long time. Uh, the idea is as a, as a have a website of a club fan to hold statistic and in, in the history of the club, right? Um, and how I, I'm using Semantic Media Week to do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. So a little bit about the agenda. I'm going to talk about me a bit just to give a background. Uh, then about the Cruzeiro Wikipedia, depending uh, if you, uh, depending how how we want to speak it. So how we was it before somebody Media Week, and after that, some failed project that I tried after uh, having this successful one. Other projects that I I'm helping to to uh, work and some questions at the end. Uh, about me, just a second. Yeah. So about me, I'm a Brazilian. Uh, I'm a software engineer and a developer, and I love to automate stuff. So automation is my is my passion, and and in and, and all of that thing, very geeky. Uh, but I, I'm very terrible at UX design, as you might see uh, when I show you the, the page. Uh, I started contributing into Wikipedia on the 3rd of June 2005, and after more around four years uh, do, doing that and doing for uh, the, the club fan that I'm going to talk about. And then I have to start my project. So I love collaboration projects. So uh, I, I was hooked into Wikipedia uh, from the beginning and all the media wiki uh, projects uh, overall. And I'm a huge Cruzeiros fan. Okay. Uh, it's a Brazilian uh, football club. That uh, is not really, if you look it up uh, nowadays, it's not really in a good stage, which break my heart. But uh, it's it's uh, uh, one of the biggest in Brazil and just not living the, the best days. But yeah, the, any, just if you wonder, this is a, what this picture was taken in Western Australia when I was there traveling. So the product, the Cruzeiropedia or Cruzeiropedia uh, product. Uh, why I, I started, as I mentioned, uh, I tried to contribute to Wikipedia a lot, right? And not all the all the informations about the club could be found there. Usually, men, men, many they have like the overall history, some major events. But uh, as a fan, I want to know, and I mean everything about the club. You know, uh, for, for, from the, the the everyone that works there and every numbers, everything that happens, even with the fans sometimes. Sometimes I want to know uh, numbers, not, not just about uh, attending these stadiums, but if, even some fans that organize groups, I, I want to know about them as well. Wikipedia doesn't allow you to go that deep into uh, information, right? So I, I would like to know the game lineup, and I was not allowed to, to uh, add them in, in Wikipedia, right? And usually there they only have like important games like usually the finals or something like that uh, they they can they, they, they let you to have pages about the over, overview of a club uh, season but uh, it's just like major numbers very very uh, very few things in, in tournament as well so then in 2009 uh, org was born and I, my idea was from a, co, uh, a club fan perspective to cover everything that uh, that happens about that, that, that club. Uh, so my idea was having every single game lineup and not just the professionals, the female uh, lineups, the juniors lineups, everything, right? Uh, even uh, friendly 
uh, games, everything. So, and all of them need to be done by season, by championship, by stadium, maybe some some uh, other club that I will be playing against. So I want also those numbers be uh, divided uh, their way. And the, the statistics about the players playing in Cruzeiro, because uh, I, I want to know how they how they done specific on Cruzeiro. Cruzeiro in in in, in um, Wikipedia, you can have that, but it's really like just games, score, and and that's it. And, and I wanted m much more than that. So before the Semantic Media Week, before I find out about it, uh, the the web page like uh, Wikipedia is very heavily dependent on manual intervention. So if you don't have a huge number of collaborators you're going to have a lot of work in your hands, you know? And so it becomes very hard to keep up with the, the new information that comes up uh, every day. And so we don't, we didn't have most of the players uh, covered. Uh, we only have the important ones because it was very hard to, to all the statistics about tournaments and everything were done by hand. And even that it was a uh, view uh, only the important ones. And um, we couldn't think about new ways or new statistics to create, right? Because sometimes I want to know, uh, I, I know the, all, all the, the goals scored, but I want to know all the goals scored as a, a, a direct kick or as a penalty kick, you know, not, not overall. So I, I want to, to, to have uh, more details on that. So if you decide to create a new one. Now you have another thing that you have manually to update, right? Uh, so just giving an overview of what had to be done after a new page game was created. So I had to, to change everything here. So tournament statistics, statistics. So how many wins, how many loss, losses, how many draws, how many goals scored, how many goals scores against, how many uh, update all the players who played on that game. So, and also change the season statistics, also the players who, is, who played the statistics, stadiums, play, uh, clubs that we, we, played, we played against by the city, by the stadium, sorry, the stadium, not station, uh, by tournament. So every, everything here needs to be done manually, right? It's a lot of work. So this leads to lots of human error because uh, you, you need someone to always be uh, doing a revision for you. Uh, otherwise, you get a lot of inconsistency everywhere, right? Because sometimes you're, you're just doing manually and this is, is a prone error. And it makes makes very uh, easy to things get inconsistent. Uh, because of that, only the most well-known plays were covered and very hard to spot inconsistencies, right? You have to always compare your, what you have to outside sources. So then you find, oh, okay, okay, so uh, looks like this is it doesn't match. And depending if you were um, one of the uh, current collaborators, you could see, oh, this doesn't look right, and, and you can sometimes spot the inconsistency. But uh, for someone that just visiting the page from the not a, 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 someone that is contributing a lot, uh, it's almost it's pr it's practically impossible to spot any inconsistency. And also, it's hard to alternate uh, some inconsistent de detection with that. There's no API to external tools. So if you want, maybe export your uh, inf uh, some information, some statistics uh, from uh, to other tools, some other um, tools that you just can't. But then I find out about semantic Midway, and now a new chapter begin, like completely. Uh, we revamped the, the, the whole project. So in 2015, you know, very, very late, uh, I've heard people talking about 2008. 2015 was the first time, I, I, I don't remember anymore uh, how it happened, but I just, it just clicked on me when I saw about it and I started incorporated uh, into the um, Wikipedia. So now after a game is created, everything is updated automatically. I don't have to do any more new intervention. As long as the game page is has the, the, the correct information, everything else will be corrected as well. So all the numbers, everything, right? 
So now I also can do the lineups, the lineup with more information. So now like I, I, I also can put like the player's flag, the mark if the player was a former player that, that, that now is playing against, or maybe was a former uh, coach, or maybe uh, was a player that became a coach after some time, right? Because on the old games, uh, he was a player, but now he's a coach. So when you, when, when you look back, you, 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 can, you can see in Smart, I'm, I'm going to show what I meant by that. And everything here is done automatically, right? Based on the on the other pages. I don't have to look it up. Oh, so which country displayed it? Or did it did this play plays play against us or not? I, I don't need to know that anymore. I just need to put the play the, the, the player there in the in the in the, in the, the games page, and everything will be uh, will, will, will happen. So now pages can be have more statistics. Statistics. So now you know, on the pages uh, players, on, on the players page, uh, you will have all the goals. If it's, it's a direct free kick, it's a penalty kick. Uh, how many games we win, lose, or or was a draw when the, that player was present? He played on the bank from the bench. On he was on the bench, or he played on an official game, a friendly game. So everything could be done automatically. And even when I, I need to think about new new type of statistics, I can uh, create a new one. And depending on what is it, it takes way much uh, effort than it would take with, without someone in the wiki. So uh, I also like to see how many plays, how many uh, uh, how many games a player played against when the, that player is a former player. So I'm going to show that as well, if you get confused. About a uh, statistic about the coaches, so games they played, uh, yellow and red cards, and all, all by season, by tournament. And also, I, I decided to start also referee statistics when they are uh, on a Crusaders game. So I know how many games some referee, uh, Crusaders lose or whatever, when that referee is present. So we can see mm, maybe that, that, that referee is not really in our favor or all the way around, right? And because of that, again, automation is, is something that I, I uh, like a lot. So uh, it's easy for me now to check because even with, with that approach, there are some inconsistency. Maybe uh, something was added wrong, right? And because of that, uh, we need I do some automation checking on the pages because sometimes you you miss the the, the template that you're using and now instead of adding the uh, uh, player in, in the bench you say that okay so it he was starting um, the game and then now instead of 11 players you now have 12 players so it, it, some some those those kind of inconsistencies it, they are uh, not not really easy to to catch by an eye but very easy if you automate and use the, the, the API to, to check that. Um, much more easier to uh, spot inconsistency and even for a human, because now I can put some, I'm, I'm gonna show that, I'm gonna put some marks and when you, you, you look, you can see, oh, this is, doesn't look right. So you just have to uh, correct that. And again, the API allows to create scripts and enhance uh, the, the, uh, the semantic midway capability because sometimes uh, there are there's so much that it can do for you, but you you, you can also wrap, wrap up that and collect those informations. Maybe put in a database, and then you do more complex stuff, and then you put that back in the in the website. Um, and some statistics require minor changes, and sometimes you just add something in, in the template, and everything is up is up to date again. Uh, some things that I think you need to consider if everyone thinks about a, a project like this is. The, name, the names for uh, players can be confusing because some players, especially in Brazil, uh, I know that uh, Europe, uh, for example, they use the, the, the last name and first name, and that helps to uh, distinguish between players. But in Brazil, we all call every player for, for his first name. Sometimes you have two names just because there was a name with the same first name. But the, if that's not the case, we, we all treaters with the first name only so you, you can imagine how many 
Johns or, jo or Joseph have played before and now who, who is who, you know, you, you, need, you need to differentiate them. So this is something that is, uh, becomes uh, important to, to, to take care when you uh, doing this kind of thing. Uh, again, as I said, so Brazilian only used uh, first names. Uh, templates are really, really, really important, a must, I would say, here, because you're going to have a lot of work to do or redo if you try to not use templates. So I, 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 I don't even would go there if you, if you try to do something that doesn't use templates. Um, just think ahead of what information you want to extract. So you want to kind of... Uh, uh, no, okay, so which numbers I would like to see, and then start to restructure your, uh, especially your, your your game sheet that, that way, because it's, it's from there that we're going to get all the, the information. Uh, do, not do, do not try to, to add everything in one go. I would say just go slow, try just one season, just a few games and see how the numbers start to, to, to come up, you know, and then you, you improve on that. Instead of trying to put all the numbers that you, you, you can think of in one go. You might get a lot of uh, things to do and, and maybe it will be much more painful to manage. But again, don't go full at all in like at once, but leave a room for the future, you know? Or think ahead a little bit. So, okay, so I, I don't want to put everything, all the, all the type of goals, as I mentioned before, my baby, I'm going to put in a way, if I want to create more types, I could, you know, so it's a, it's a good strategy, I think. Um, and things change and evolve, so you, have, you just have to accept. So don't, the, the, it, it ties to the, the, the previous point that you maybe want to do everything so we don't have to do in the future. But you're going to have something will change in the future. You, you're not going to uh, uh, get it right in the first goal. So you just have to accept that, do as best as you can, and just have fun. I think that's my my take on. It. So I'm I'm gonna show just uh, some um, some examples of the lineups. So as you can see here, we have uh, these letters. I've just just a, a quick, quick 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 note. Everything will be in Portuguese, right? So uh, that, that's why some something might might not look. Uh, as uh, obvious, but those things, those T's, minor T's, means that that the players started the game. Okay, the R's means they come from the bench. The B's they are in the bench, and this help a lot to identify if something is wrong. And and on, on the on the left side here, I'm I'm showing the templates that I use. So we just have to put the name that template, and this will the, the format will, will will come together based. On the, the flag that it's on the, the players game, so I, I know from which country they, they are. I know um, if they are from the juniors, so maybe they, they come from from the, the, the juniors. So the, all of those things means those players that were juniors before in, in the club and then became professionals. Um, the the cards, the goal, and here's means that this this coach is now the current coach, and this means that this is a coach that was Cruzeiro's coach once uh, before. So this, I, I know just looking at this, oh, okay, so this one had been a Cruzeiro coach before. This means that this player was, had played for Cruzeiro uh, before as well. And this means this came from uh, Cruzeiro's uh, juniors and also became a professional and now he transferred and now he's an also everything, everyone here with a flag and this uh, and this means that you played for Cruzeiro before. Um, uh, one thing that I would like to say about this, yeah, but it's pretty much so. Oh, okay, so because of those letters here, uh, if something goes wrong and you use the wrong template here, it's gonna show as a T. See, so the the script will will, will count this and see. Okay, so there's twelve players. And, and that's possible on, to have only on, on 11 players, right? So because of that, it's easy to spot that something is, is not right. So you could just edit the page, change, maybe the, you, you use the wrong template, and now you uh, everything is it's back on track. 
Uh, just another example of nine lineups. Uh, see, this player was a former Crusaders player, but, uh, but also became a coach in the future. So this is an old lineup from, from the, the 90s, I believe. And on, on this lineup, you can see that um, uh, when, you, when you look at the lineup nowadays, you see also, so this player played at Cruzeiro, but also was a coach at Cruzeiro in the future. So those things is, uh, is uh, a way to differentiate and show information, just look at, look at the lineup. Uh, as you can see here, this is Ronaldo, the, the Ronaldo that everyone knows uh, that won the World Cup in, nine, in 2002 for Brazil. For Brazil, he played in Real Madrid, Barcelona. So he started in Cruzeiro and he scored three goals in this game. And one of the goals was a penalty kick. So this is how we differentiate the penalty kick on, on this, um, on, on the lineup. Uh, this is a uh, uh, player's play, uh, page. As you can see here, uh, here I have all the numbers from, uh, from seasons. So you have how, how, how many games, how many they, they, they start the game from the bench, on the bench, how many goals, yellow cards, and by, by season. Uh, on, the, on the right side, you can see uh, the, the number of games he played, official games and friendly games. So it's uh, different. If, if he had played, if he had scored uh, foul games, uh, sorry, freak games or uh, penalty games, he would appear as well in the goals here. We say, okay, so three, because those three were, were all uh, normal uh, uh, goals. So uh, they, they don't show uh, differently. Uh, you can see that he played 88 uh, games was a victory when he played and 26 it's very small for me here and 30 was a uh, was uh, was a loss so v means victory e means draw everything is portuguese and d means uh, lose uh, so the first game uh, he, he played then after that you can see the first game he, he scored a goal and, and then the last game he played uh, for Cruzeiro before uh, being transferred. Uh, and at the, the bottom, you can see how many games he played against Cruzeiro. So uh, you can see, I, I also highlight the, the color so you can see easily which game was uh, a win, a loss, uh, or a draw. And, and then you have uh, which stadium, CD, and championship that was um, played. This is uh, the crew squad. So this is also done automatically. We're using that, that, that template because on the each uh, player's page, I had a, a saying, it's, it's from the current squad or not. So with that, I can also get the average uh, average uh, age of that group. So this is the, like the forward, forward uh, guys. And there are nine players and the average uh, age is 30, 23 years old. So here you have uh, the, the major information. So how many claims they played, the, the, their name, how many games, how many goals they score, their uh, date of birth, uh, local birth, the, their, the full name, and then the last, the last game they played. Okay. Uh, and and last, last game means he played on from the bench or he started the game. If he was on the bench, it doesn't go into the statistics, only in the that specific statistic. So I, I started uh, another project uh, a while back trying to cover all the Brazilian uh, championship. So the idea was similar, but I would like to see, okay, so how was the, the Brazilian championship as a, as a whole? So I, I went to all, all the lineups and tried to uh, have this, a similar thing that I have only for Cruzeiro, but for the whole uh, clubs focus on the Brazilian championship, okay? But the problem is uh, covering all the lineups were really a nightmare for uh, if, you, if you don't have like a massive amount of people doing that. Auto automating was a problem because I, I, as I told you before, in Brazil we, we call uh, players with, for, uh, with the, the first names. And because of that, uh, there, there's a lot of confusion that if you don't know that specific team, it's gonna be very hard for you to uh, 
uh, differentiate the, the, the players. So I try to extract from the official sources, which are PDFs, but the problem is some names are so big that they truncate the name. So you cannot extract easily and you have to start figuring out and open every single document to do that manually. So it's really, really and heavily dependent on revision and, and contribution of others. So that project, when I couldn't find enough people to help me, I just gave up and, and start working out on it. Other products that are, that are currently working is uh, Gremiopedia.com is from the Gremio. It's, it's another Brazilian. Uh, uh, this one is, is a really big one. The Gremio is, is a really uh, big one, big, big page. Uh, and it, they started like two years ago, I think. And I helped them to set up everything because the, the, their technological knowledge, technology knowledge, knowledge from them is not uh, really big. So I, I helped them, especially on that part and the structure part. But they are, are doing uh, fantastic. Uh, this is another a two ones that they contacted me to help them to to set set this up. And but but they because of uh, time and all of that they haven't started yet. But I hope next year they can start and, and have their own pages. And that's pretty much about uh, it. Uh, I hope everyone, someone had questions because I could talk about these projects <laughs> for a long time. Just don't want to go too much on you. Okay, so thank you very much, Eduardo. That was very interesting. I think this uh, 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 domain is actually quite complex. So it is uh, this very advanced stuff you are doing um, because this can be this can become complex quite easily. Yeah. Um, I don't Sorry. see any, yeah. One thing, one, one thing that I want to add, I did this for, for football, but I believe it can be done for, like for all the sports. So yeah, we, sure. even if, if you're not interested in football, maybe you like hockey or whatever, I think it, it can be done. It will be structured different, of course, but uh, the, the idea, I think, is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks a lot. I don't see questions in the chat, which is actually good regarding to the time. Yeah, uh, I, I, hope, uh, I hope we, we, we can see you uh, during the conference. Um, uh, there is also the possibility, if you look at the people tab, then you can also directly contact persons and and here, maybe if someone has a question to you you will be sure. available so and thank you very any, much thank you and if thank anyone you. has so just a second if anyone okay. had any questions or want some help to just keep it up your project just let me know i can help you thank you thank very you. much thank you bye bye, thank you, bye.